What up? I'm doing archie fishing today, trying the Wakirik on a 26 meter hole. Trying to get some good chars here. Let's see our second fish on the day. It's a Zander. And this pot seems to be active. I tried a 27 meter on the other side of the map before. I was getting a lot of purchase there. I got a perch trophy, my first Wakirik trophy, but I want to get some more chars now, so there is a char, only 5 kilo the trophy, I need a little bigger one, my biggest so far has been 4 kilo, it was like 2 days ago, and there is a small perch. Yes, purchase at least you can get some very small ones for bait fish. It's sometimes useful. And the goal is to get nice chars. I'm using 4.5001 lure. Uh, it seems to be working well this week. Those chars like it. I haven't seen Archie being active for trolling much. But at least this Wakirik is working. And normally you'd better use it with a light rod and reel. Only I don't have a good setup for that. That's why I'm using the Venga with uh, Barracuda and also Monde 1. It still works, but if you have the light setup like a Trident, uh, would be much better. For example, Trident reel with Legend Rod will be 7 friction break max drag. That could work. I was using actually one ultra light setup, but it <laughs> it wasn't proper before. So uh, the blank is destroyed now. I'm not using it anymore. It's easy to catch with the Monday ones, and the problem is you need to perk basically to get this fish. It's like you drop the lure to the bottom, and then you kind of do perking up and down. As in the in the sea. Similarly, that's how you do the wakirik here. It's 27 meter, so it goes down to about 30 meter in the lure. And then you just go up and down with the right button of the mouse. You can also sit sometimes and uh if fish will catch on. But it's better to move it and do this perking. The Ludoga whitefish will get some of them sometimes. Chars, ja, <laughs> chars come every now and then, like every second, third fish would be a char. See another one. There is a char. So, yeah, do the perking, drop it to the bottom. You'll see. It's written touching bottom on the left there, next to your line bar. And yeah, then you know that you are <laughs> you are doing well. There is a few holes that could work on Archim. Like this is one of them here. There is a 27 one at I4, I believe, or G4. And then there is one on the bottom. So yeah, I think I4 and then G9. It's like down down there on the bottom of the map. I tried all of them and I like this the most. At least my lucky it's here. And you can also buy this line, which is for C normally, but you can also use it on Arch, for example. So you'll be able to see the meters, <clears throat> how much it drops your line. It's pretty helpful. I'm actually using 18 kilo and 60 kilo line, but <laughs> It's, I'm still catching, so it doesn't affect it too much. But if you have the silver, you can also just buy a smaller line, like 12 or 16 kilo. That could maybe even work better. I hooked a Baltic sturgeon yesterday. Here. I fought with it for 5 minutes, but then it finally uh, got away. Fish got away. So I couldn't see how big it was. But yeah, there is a small chance to get a Baltic sturgeon <laughs> if your lure 
gets snapped and runs away for 100 meters. And you know that it's a Baltic. It could have been Atlantic Salmon, but unlikely. I think it was Sturgeon. Anyway, it doesn't happen often. It's mostly Charles, Porches and Zanders. That would be the fish you'll be catching here. There is one more now. Oh, look, it's a nice great char. They are more rare, but very nice fish. And there is the map B6 with the perking from the bottom. You gotta do. Simple setup, pretty much. This nasty worm 4.501. Uh, it's my lure. This is my most recent net. It's actually not that great. I got the great char, a couple more chars. Last night I had even more chars. I didn't quite capture it. But they're still biting, so you can give it a try. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.